it is the 1st of February, so it's time to say goodbye to the beast. This is the Mina. Let's see how it's done. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? 1st of February, and I've actually got some hot off the press sneaky peek. I've just won myself a Kirby Legend 2, so we can look forward to that coming up soon. It's actually being sold by a lovely sounding guy in Peterborough who knows me, so hello! So see you on Saturday. Best tell me what time you want me, don't know what time I'll be there. In the morning, anyway! The Mina! This has been very good, it's seen quite a lot of use actually because we've been sorting bits and pieces out. So we've had furniture moved, <sighs> got another sniffle, sorry. We've had the furniture moved, we've had lots of rubbish being tipped out the loft and boxes. Yeah, it's worked hard for its beer, but how's it done? Well, let's practically go through it first, then I'll tell you how I found it. So we'll start with the filter which was brand new and um, it's actually still quite clean how let me just turn that light there so you might be able to see there's a little bit of fluff that's got through the genuine bag but it's not bad that side is spotless so in practical terms that means that it's not kicking out a load of carbon dust which isn't too bad the fit hasn't been fantastic on here because the flap has just peaked open a few times, it doesn't really click, it sort, of, it sort of sits. It's only been a couple of times, it's not been too bad. Right, let us have a look at the bag. Oh, I've just broken that. There we go, so, we're up to about there now, which isn't bad. In fact, there's a nice wad of dust. You won't be able to see that, I don't think. There's a nice wad of dust in there. It's actually almost quite full up, generally, really, although I have backed a few other vacuums out with it. However, I can see a little bit of dust in there. I don't know if I can zoom you. Ah, oh, there we go, look. There's a little bit of something there, whether that's actually coming through the bag. I don't think it is because the bag itself is pretty spotless. In fact, I'm wondering if it's actually blowing through. The suction channel runs through there down the back. I'm wondering if I perhaps haven't fully sealed it back up properly. And that's actually blowing in through a little gap. But it's not actually too bad. It's negligible really. The pre-motor filter is still spotless. Bend that back out so they can actually see what you're doing. Oh there. And yes, all in all, very good indeed. Right, let's pop the bag back in. Try not to croft dust too much everywhere. There we go, right. Let's have a look underneath at the brush roll, which is actually very clean. There's a few little threads, oh, trying to hold that up. There's a few little threads here, which will just be the edge of the carpet. Our carpet's fraying a little bit up still, I don't know, what's that? And whatever that is. There we go. That's fine. So the brush roll, though being quite warm, hasn't been too bad. This. The, the wheels have picked up a little bit of fluff here and there. But, fine really, negligible, negligible issues. I've even managed to not catch the hood on the radiator. There's a radiator in our house that's claimed a couple of vacuums actually. There's a white mark on my turbo mask I need to get off. But that's lived through that. Yeah, it's been all right. So, what hasn't, well, nothing, nothing hasn't not gone well. There's just a few observations. Somebody mentioned in the main after video that the reason that this does that is because there is a missing clip. And he's right, I can see it. Just about see the remains of the, there's like this plastic stress mark. 
there. There you go. If you know what you're looking for, you can see it. So if it is missing its clip, it's not that fast. Not that fast at all. The wand is still a little bit tight to pull out, but it's been perfectly usable. I do like the long crevice tool, that's very good. I've got a spare one of these, which I'm going to keep for when I have a cylinder to be done or similar, because that's very handy, very handy indeed. So, its main problem has just been, it's just too big. Turbo Master had the same issue. We're only in the two bedroom terrace. It's massive, and we're not messy people. I mean, we don't have pets. The children are terribly messy. It's just the odd bits all over the floor, or when I, you know, we'd be walking leaves and bits and bobs. So it's not had the sort of use that a machine like this needs. This sort of machine is for a busy household that really does need a vacuum in twice a day. We can go two or three days without needing to vacuum. So it's just been overkill really. That is massive. I mean yes it it's quite nimble with the fact that you can turn it and whatnot, but you do still know you're pushing it. I'm sure that squeaks fine. So yeah, glad I've used one. If I had a big house with vast expanses of deeper pile carpet, ideal. For ours, with there's, there's no pile on the upstairs carpet, it's cheap rental spec, and that stuff we got downstairs is very low pile anyway. I mean, if we didn't have that, we'd have laminate, so it'd be even more unsuitable. But, tick to box. It's been good. Now it is time to go away. And we can move on to what is happening in February. Bit of a left field choice, this. But, I'm going to go with it. It's a machine that I've never actually fully properly used. I've had many of them, tens, probably hundreds, just about, of. I know them inside out, back to front, all of their floors, but I've never actually used one for more than 30 seconds to check it works after I've fixed it. What am I talking about? Well, we saw it quite recently, actually. I'm going to use the DC24. Why not? So never actually used one properly. It's still very much in its pre-refurb state, so I don't have to worry about getting it dirty. I mean, as you can see, it's still got the porridge oats in it from the little test we did, which we may as well chuck down the floor again and do once more. But it will allow me to see what they're actually like. So once I've refurbished one and I'm charging 100 quid, I don't use it for more than just checking it works. I don't get dirty. <coughs> Oh, excuse me. So it will be nice to use one properly. So I have, I found a tool, it's a pattern part. It was sat on the DC-16, but I've got its original one. So there we go. I can't say much more about it really, because this is as it was. This has just been sat here since I did the video last time. So it's probably going to be more ideally suited for my house because they're designed for small houses really and because we live in a small house it should do an okay job plus I can give it a proper shakedown test before I invest time and money into I suppose it won't be any money just time into fixing it up to sell so as big as it was thrown away I'm going to be a little bit careful that there isn't something actually wrong with it that I haven't found so that would be a good excuse as well so, let's vacuum this back up, I suppose.
And there we go. The Dyson DC24i. Oh, that's the wrong switch. Oh, hang on. I pulled the wrong plug out. Come on. There we go. Got the right plug. Dyson DC24i is ready to go for a month. We shall see how well it does. I shall empty the bin now and in theory not touch it again. Can't see it filling up, but you never know. If it does, I shall let you know, but for now. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you soon in March. For this series, obviously. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.